Hello, it's Matt at Auto Pulp Finder. Um, I want to show you the difference between original Borg Warner equipment and the spurious Chinese stuff that's appearing. Um, and often people who sell this stuff aren't quite so transparent about what they're selling. Um, first off, we'll just compare the two. So this is a proper genuine Borg Warner filter. Uh, they often come in a little Borg Warner box, but we actually ditch the boxes so we can pack them easier. And this one, this is a Famoco filter, so it fits Land Rover, Volvo and Ford Cougars. First off, a very easy way to tell is the copy. They seem to put a spring in here for some reason. I don't think that anybody's told them the Chinese. This stuff comes from a company called Go Go Auto Parts and you can find it on AliExpress and it's literally buttons a piece to buy. Um, there are some obvious differences though. So the, the springs one giveaway. Um, the next one is the copy parts have a really ugly molding mark where the proper ones don't. The copy parts also have no numbering or identification marks on them anywhere, but a Borg Warner one says PA66GF35, which stands for nylon 66% with 35% glass fibre reinforcement. Uh, they also have a mould number mark. So this one is 114388 and a little date stamp in them, if that comes out in the video, if it's clear. Um, and then they always have this number embossed into them that's been hit with the QA, QA tool when they've QA'd them. So they're quite obvious to tell the difference. Chinese has got no marks and often has a spring. A Borg Warner has proper numbers on. But we don't hate copy parts as long as they work. But the problem is a Haldex filter has got a one-way valve in the end of it. Now... The Borg Warner one has no mould line in it, where the Chinese one has got a mould line and the mould line is inside the valve. Now they leak, so you can actually blow through them. I'm going to... It, it doesn't seal. Where a proper Borg Warner one, um, you can sort of see, see if we can get a good picture of the focus. They don't even sit properly. So these copy ones, there's actually a line oh, in the part itself here, in the little valve, and they leak. And it gives you a pump fault or a valve fault because it expects, the pump doesn't have to prime every time because the valve stops the prime from being lost. But when the copy filter leaks, you get a lower limit exceeded fault on the pump or a pump current low, or sometimes a valve fault if it's a VAG group car. So the copy part is poor because the valve doesn't work. Um, so that's the filter cartridge itself. And then the actual, there's a cap. Now you can always tell a copy cap because a proper Borg Warner one, if you look, has actually got a tooling mark. It says number two in there where the copy ones have no marks whatsoever. Um, there's not much difference in them, but you can tell that one's a copy of the other, like the, the stamps are better, and these genuine ones have actually got like a little lip where the screw sits ever so slightly, but the copy ones are totally plain and flat. The other problem with the copy parts is the dimensions. So where this seal sits, it's actually too big. So if you're really struggling to push the filter in, it's probably because it's a copy one. And as you struggle to push it in, you then chew the O-ring up and then it leaks. So uh, a genuine part is approximately 15 times the price for us to buy than a copy part. Now, it would be far more lucrative to sell copy parts, but the original ones work and the copy ones aren't very good. So, another way to tell is the screws. Let's see if we can get a good in focus. Go on. So, the original screws are like a good quality screw. And they've got little lines on the head. 
and they're like a proper ISO screw with a grading like grading marks 8.8 .8 in the top. But the copy ones are like China screw. You know, like what you get in your uh, IKEA furniture. You know, just you can tell the quality of the stamping of the head, and then they're like really shiny where they've been over nickel plated. Some of them are a bit wobbly as well. If you put your line up, then the screws are a bit wibbly wobbly. So, you know, these are really soft and they'll break. Where, you know, you could replace the screws. Um, the other one, it's, so that's uh, the difference between the Famoco filter. So they fit Land Rover and Ford. Now the VAG ones are the same filter fundamentally. They just come with a different white nylon fitting part. But again... No one's bothered to uh, tell the Chinese that a genuine filter doesn't have a spring in the end of it. But again, all the same traits. So, you know, the original one has the proper markings in, no markings on the copy one. It is the same filter. It's just a change of a white item. And again, the copy nylon part is too big. So... People have told me that they're trying to push it in and they've got a bar behind it and they can't get it to go in. Well, it's about it's about half a mil too big, this is, for the copy one. So that, that's the difference between a copy one, a filter. So I'll do pumps, but we'll split it into another little video.